Hi everyone, so this video is about hydrogen and its biblical alchemical symbols. Now, the Hebrew letter Mem signifies the water of creation, the element or elemental known as hydrogen. In the book of Revelation, God's voice is described as the sound of many waters, Revelation 1.15. Now, the sound of many waters is what's scientifically known as hydrogen wave function. Hydrogen vibrates and transforms into many different shapes, embodying different characteristics according to vibratory frequencies or sounds. These sounds or vibratory frequencies are the words of God as in John 1, 1, in the beginning was the word. Hydrogen in the sun is the catalyst for visible life. H1 plus H1 equals He2. This is nuclear fusion. H1 is hydrogen and He2 is helium. On the periodic table, they are elements one and two. When we compare this to the alchemical periodic table, we see that hydrogen and helium are what were previously known as quintessence and essence. During my research into helium, a mysterious thing happened. Watch this. This is um, the truthunity.net website. Um, it's amazing. It has a search engine which allows you to search for different terms within Charles Fillmore's metaphysical dictionary, which I love. Um, and this morning, whilst I was doing my research for Revelations, I put in the word helium and look what came up. The truth. Helium is the truth. Hydrogen is the way. The way, the truth and the light. <laughs> Therefore, the scripture, I am the way, the truth, and the life, can be translated as, I am the quintessence, the essence, and all manifestation, or, I am hydrogen, helium, and every consequent part of creation. Simon Worrell further validates these spiritual yet scientific parallels in the National Geographic by saying, when the universe started, there was just hydrogen and a little helium and very little of anything else. Helium is not in our bodies, hydrogen is, but that's not the bulk of our weight. Stars, like the sun, are like nuclear reactors. They take fuel and convert it into something else. Hydrogen is formed into helium, and helium is built into carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen, iron, sulfur, etc. Everything we are made of. Hydrogen is water taking form by sound. Sound is the word, the very thought issuing from God mind. Sound is vibratory frequency. Water is not only essential for life, but it also embodies all that life entails. Spontaneous and free-flowing, sensitive and responsive, accommodating and flexible, yet effective and powerful. Water is the medium, the message and the means. It is literally the mother of life. It is the rainbow within the temple body that reflects the one in the sky. C-H-N-O-P-S or chinops is 
the acronym for the basic chemical composition of the human body. Carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, sulfur. Carbon is approximately 18.5% of the body. Three times six equals 18, six, six, six. And carbon 12, of course, has six protons, six neutrons, and six electrons. Again, six, six, six. Oxygen is approximately 65% of the body. Hydrogen is approximately 9.5% of the body. And nitrogen is approximately 3.3% of the body. The other elements that make up the human body are calcium, phosphorus, potassium, sulfur, chlorine, sodium, magnesium, plus trace amounts of iodine, iron and zinc. 90% of our body's mass is in fact stardust because all the elements except for hydrogen and helium are created in stars like the sun. Space equals 74% hydrogen and 24% helium. These two, hydrogen and helium, are the foundation of all life. Let's take another look at the last part of Simon Worrell's quote to help us really grasp and remember this. Hydrogen is formed into helium and helium is built into carbon, nitrogen and oxygen, iron, sulfur, etc. Everything we are made of. Thus, we are literally the product of hydrogen and its many waveforms. Hydrogen 1-1 is the smallest, lightest and most abundant element in the universe. Hydrogen is symbolized by the mare, the sea, the mother. It is the water of alchemy and the binar of Gnosticism. Pythagoras linked hydrogen or the water of creation with the geometric shape called the icosahedron. The word hydrogen comes from the Greek hydra, the stem of hydor, meaning water, and the French word gene, meaning producing, as in the words generate, genes, genesis, genetic. Hydrogen is the atomic number one and has the atomic radius of 53. This is why the number 153 is so significant in Masonic teachings. In the secret teachings of all ages, Manly P. Hall states, the water element of the ancient philosophers has been metamorphosed into the hydrogen of modern science. The air has become oxygen, the fire, nitrogen, the earth, carbon. In my book, The God Design, Secrets of the Mind, Body and Soul, we see that one of the biochemicals secreted by the pineal gland during moments of enlightenment is dimethyltryptamine, more commonly known as DMT. Interestingly, when we look at the chemical composition of DMT, we see that it too is made of this invisible star stuff, hydrogen, carbon and nitrogen. Hydrogen is the water of life, the source of all reality. Everything that we see, eat, breathe, etc. are in the form of various structures of hydrogen. Scientists have discovered, of course, 12 basic hydrogens in the universe. These are organized as 12 categories of matter. All of the other hydrogens are derived from the 12 basic hydrogens. These hydrogens are mentioned in Genesis 1-2. And the earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters, hydrogens. 
When looking at sexual fluids and their invisible counterpart, sexual energy, we find a type of hydrogen known as hydrogen SI12. From the food that we eat, the breath that we take and the rays that we absorb, the body manufactures this wonderful Alexa, seminal liquor, sexual hydrogen or sexual energy, also known as hydrogen SI12. The sexual hydrogen SI12 is found in the semen. That hydrogen is the creative power of the third logos. Samuel on War says that this sexual hydrogen is found in semen and that when there is a surplus of it in the individual's body, the body of liberation begins to build itself from within the spinal medulla, which is the spiritual womb. This teaching is parallel with the preservation of the sacred secretion, the Kundalini rising, the 144,000 DNA gene activation, the macabre, etc. Hydrogen, in scientific terms, is the simplest component on the table of elements. It is through modifications of this one form that all matter exists. My book, Elevation, The Divine Power of the Human Body, contains more information regarding elements and the alchemy in the Bible, particularly in the book of Revelation. So here's all the links that you need for my social media and stuff. And thank you so much for watching. May divine love manifest itself in you all, always and in all ways. Peace and light.